Hello everyone, my name is Lenny from Code with Lenny Len and in this second Python SQLite tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a table and just so you get the idea what a table is is just an organized way of which we can store our data into the database and I have a picture that can help us in that so this is just what a table looks like we have the employee records this is just the name of the table then we have the columns or the fields these columns here the id name division and stars so those are the columns and they are called fields so we have the id we have the name division and the stars then next we have these rows one lenny software three two cynthia manager five and so on and so forth what these are are just the records you know what do you want to put in this table we want to put these records of these employees and so that's what our database is going to be of we're going to create a simple database file that we're going to store our employee records in one table so you can have a database with many tables but for now to keep our work simple we're just going to use one table and so we're going to start on with that last tutorial i showed you how we can open and close the database file and if we look at our database file it's actually empty we have nothing yet but in this tutorial we're going to add on to that so we're going to create a table which we are going to use to put our data and to do that we just say dbase the name of our database the variable that name that we gave it so dbase.execute and what execute does is that it tells SQLite I'm about to give you some SQL commands and you should follow them accordingly so to keep our work easy I'm just going to use a multi-line comment and a multi-line comment in Python is just three uh, quotes so I'm going to open and close it the quotes that is and in all caps because SQL likes using all caps create table so we're just creating a table and you give it the name so our name was employee underscore records so we're just creating a table giving it a table name which is employee records so you can remember in sqlite you can have many tables so if you had another table maybe for the um maybe you have uh, another place that you want to put the data about the payment you can say maybe payroll table you can have another table maybe for the kitchen department and so on and so forth you can really break it down but for now you just want a table for employee records then put some brackets we are going to open this a bit and now we have to tell the fields remember in our, uh, in our picture this is the name which is employee records then we have the fields so we want to tell the uh, SQL each field should contain what and what this field should be called so this field is called id it should contain integers which are just numbers one two three four five we have the name which is text we have the division which is also text and we have the stars which is also integer or numbers and we can just do this let's continue on and say we have the id id and just use like using all caps for the names as well the fields id and it's also going to be an integer and in sql is something called primary key and also not null so let me just explain this we created a table we gave it a name and we gave it the first field which is id and it should contain integers then we specified something called primary key and what a primary key is it's just a unique identification so whenever you say primary key you're telling sql that this field should only contain unique data and that means that these numbers cannot be repeated if it's one it's one two three four five it cannot be repeated like we cannot have one two two three three four five five seven seven and so on that means that this primary key this is the one that we're going to use uniquely for identification and it should be discrete values i don't know whether i should say discrete but anyway i hope you get it that the primary key is a unique number that's going to reference the records and so it should not be repeated or else if you try to repeat it it's going to be an error then not null not null what just this means just telling sql that this field should not remain empty that means that 
whenever you're uh, inserting records into this database table, we should always have data into this field. So not now, put a comma, then we have the name. None of the name, as I said, was text and also not null so the person who is entering the records should fill this in then we have the division and the division of also text then again not null whoops comma then the last field was stars oh my stars and this is also integer and not null so as you have noticed we cannot have two primary keys in a table you only have one and that's one that's going to be used as the main key to identify the data or the records in your database table. So in the last line, obviously this is the last uh, statement we are executing. We don't need a comma or that will give us an error because we have another bracket there. And so that does, it just creates a table. And if we say print, oh no, not all caps, print table open or table created save and run so as you have seen we have the database was open then the table was created then the database was closed and if we head on to where we stored our data we can see it's actually now three kilobytes so we have added something into that file for now you cannot just open it with normal text editors like notepad or something because it's going to show you things that you won't understand maybe you can see a bit so it has actually worked and we have data in our table so let's head back to our script and one thing you'll notice if you try to run it again maybe you want to show others that you have just created a table you'll see table employee records already exist so this is an error and what this is is that you're telling it to create another table which is called employee records and we already have that table in our database so this will obviously lead to an error and the way we can avoid this you can say create table all caps if not exists and what this does is just tells it create this table if it's not in this database file otherwise if it is there just assume this and we're going to put run okay and let's wait so as you can see database open table created database closed so we're not going to have errors this time because we told it create a table only if that table does not exist in this uh, database file so that's it for this tutorial we've known how to we created our database file then we know how to close the database file oops sorry about that then we know how to create a table and this is a very efficient way of creating a table you use if not exist so that we cannot get errors each time you try to run this and we have now our fields the id the name division and the stars as we try to see from here you can see that sqlite format so and um, this actually works sqlite format 3 because we're using sqlite 3 and you can see all the things that you specified have been written don't worry about this blah 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 all that nonsense all you need to know is that we know how to create a table and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how we can actually add data into our tables like adding all these records and so on and so forth. So I hope you're enjoying this tutorial, very simple tutorial series and I know you're going to get it into your brains very very quickly. If you do not understand this tutorial, try to watch it again and again, do much practice on creating tables, you can create more than one table and have fun. So please like and subscribe to this video and as always, thanks for watching.